The combination of JIRA issues and table filter and charts for Confluence is the next level project management solution. Everything is possible, from simple filtration to detailed charts and graphs and analysis. Let's have a look at how to do that. First, you need to add a list of tasks from JIRA to your Confluence page. Just pick the relevant tasks and copy the link to share them outside JIRA. In Confluence, add the JIRA macro and use the link from JIRA to insert the chosen issues. You can go on and tailor the JIRA issues table to reflect data precisely as you need it. Once you finish selecting the settings, save the macro in the page. Now that you gathered the tasks from JIRA and a table, you can start adding other macros. To add the table filter macro, click the funnel icon and select the necessary option. After you enable the macro, relevant filters are applied to each column. Just change the filter settings for particular columns, and the table will adjust accordingly. If you find out that some columns are of no need to you at the moment, hide them in just one click. You can also reset all filters to go back to the initial form of the table, or export the filtered table in a suitable file format. When you apply all the filters, save the changes. Now, let's apply the pivot table macro and gain even better understanding of the project. The pivot table allows you to summarize repeated values from the table. In the case of JIRA issues, it can be helpful to see if the workload is distributed evenly or if you prioritize tasks correctly. Various macros are combined using table toolbox. You can only see how it works in the edit mode. Here you can nest multiple macros over one table and apply them in the correct order to achieve the desired result. You can further transform your pivot table into a chart. Just wrap the chart from table macro over the previous macro combination. It automatically suggests a basic pie chart based on the table data, but you can choose other settings for a preferred look. In the Look and Adjustments tabs, you can select placement of the chart content and other settings for correct depiction of values. After you save the macro and publish the page, you can adjust the chart to fit your page perfectly. You can also change the color scheme if you need. If you ever need to change the source table, you can do it in the view mode. The pivot table and the chart will automatically renew to show the up-to-date information. Hope this video inspired you to try out new tools and get more creative with your project management approach. Thank you for watching.